Join us now is Danny Egan, a pioneer in extreme skiing and a leader in the action sports industry. He owns his own marketing, consulting, and production company, coupling all his work with his extreme love of his Catholic faith. And first of all, uh, Dan, thanks for being with us today. Oh, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me down. It's yeah. awesome. We were just talking about uh, <laughs> if I skied. I used to ski a lot. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, ever since uh, the kids came along, uh -huh. I sort of uh, haven't, uh, haven't been out there. But uh, Let's get them going. <laughs> let's, let's fire the family up. <laughs> Now, you and your brother, um, yeah. uh, two of the original members of the uh, North Face Extreme Ski Team, and uh, maybe if you could talk about your involvement in that and how that got going. Yeah, well, you know, we skied a lot of the local ski areas here in New England and uh, in, uh, in the mid-'80s uh, during sort of like the beginning of extreme sports. Uh, we started skiing in different films around the world, and it was great. It took us, you know, all throughout Europe and South America and beyond. So uh, pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Uh, w um, you know, you had mentioned that you had quite a kind of an awakening experience in the early 90s in uh, Russia and Mount, Mount Albrus. What was that like? Did you nearly not make it down? Well, we were climbing and skiing the highest peak in, in Europe, uh, Mount, Mount Elbrus in, mm -hmm. in Russia. Uh, my brother John and I was an ex with an expedition, and uh, in back in 1990, uh, May, f May 4th, a uh, storm crashed into the mountain, and over 50 people were trapped up top. Mm. and uh, 33 died okay. and uh, I was lost for 38 hours and uh, was lucky enough to get it down so during that storm it was a hundred mile an hour winds it, it, it uh, snowed five feet uh, and I was buried in a snow cave for quite a time and a man saved my life mm -hmm. uh, it was pretty amazing into that how did that bring you to your faith well you know I, I grew up in a great family uh, you know we we're all we we're a church going family and uh, faith was a big foundation in our family uh, and I've been to Lourdes as a kid with mm. my father uh, three different times. But during the storm, um, you know, I really had, uh, was visited by, you know, I believe my guardian angel and saw the light and, mm. and just really had a sense of peace that uh, things were going to be okay. My brother was not with me and I, I just had a sense it would be harder for him. Uh, but I had a real sense of peace. And uh, that's, that's fired me for the last 22 years forward. Mm. Um, yeah, t talk about that. Talk about your faith life and your work now and how that sort of intertwines in what you do. Well, you know, it's fun skiing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun skiing. And, uh, you know, you get to meet so many people. And I've stood on uh, mountain peaks all over the world and uh, as a guide and a coach with people that say, you know, today's the best day of my life. Yeah. And I always ask them about that, you know, because it is a great day, but the best day, you know, and, uh, and dr drive a little deeper. And also through my work, I, I get to ski with a lot of kids and a lot of families and uh, you know to mentor them to coach them to teach them um, and just the other day you know I was with a bunch of kids and we were talking and they asked me what are you doing and I said well, I'm going to give a talk tonight at a church and they were like really and I started telling about some of my favorite Bible characters and they were like are those true stories <laughs> and I was like yeah absolutely so you know any chance to really weave the faith into it I, I do yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Were you one of these guys that jumped out of the helicopters into the snow? <laughs> still am. I you love it. <laughs> still am. It's amazing. <laughs> you know. Uh, it's uh, it's funny. When I first started skiing, you'd line up in the um, ski rental line, yeah. you know, and they would be playing right. these, uh, <laughs> movies up in the television screen. Well, if it was a lime green one-piece <laughs> suit, that was me. So, uh, that's great. That's but great. no, you know, I, that's an amazing <laughs> opportunity to be, you know, to see God's creation mm -hmm. that way mm -hmm. and to see just a world of white of perfect, perfect snow. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I've been lucky enough to do that a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You said you've been you know, all over the world to a lot of historic places, mm -hmm. Berlin Wall, um, Romania after the revolution. Um, what are some of your most favorite moments or memorable moments? Well, we shot in Ephesus, which yeah. was awesome uh, for uh, one of my films and for a Warren Miller film. And, and that, that was just great to, to be there. Um, and so, you know, really going to, we always tired our films into historic locations. Um, and, and so Ephesus was definitely a highlight. But I've been to uh, Beirut, uh, once organized the 1993 Middle East Peace Ski. Wow. Um, so I've always sort of been tied <coughs> into, our motto was, you know, where, where, are the, where, where are the world events? That's why we were in Russia in 1990 during Perestroika, uh, skied the wall. Mm -hmm. We uh, skied with the Kurds during the first P Persian Gulf War and, and the border of, on, in Turkey. So. Mm -hmm. Pretty fun. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, the yeah. Talk, talk about, y you do a lot of speaking, as, mm -hmm. you, as you mentioned, yeah. too. And, uh, and talk about mo motivating people and, and getting them to sort of reach their potential and how, how you go about doing that and, and sort of touching people. Well, I think, you know, the, the, the very simple formula that I learned as a kid, uh, you know, greater than, less than, or equal to. And a lot of people, uh, their dreams are greater than their reality. 
And uh, in my family, we were motivated to raise your reality up equal to your dreams and sort of keep pushing that onwards and upwards. And, you know, I was lucky enough to do that with one of my brothers, but we all did it with each other. We all held each other to high standards and pushed each other. So um, I think that, you know, motivating people in that way, seeing if their reality is equal to their dream, and then talking about, uh, you know, being faithful and uh, what's your foundation uh, and where are you going with it all. So. You know, it's, I do corporate, I do faith-based, I do a little bit of everything, tie in the adventures that we've had on skiing around the world and, and tell some stories, but really talk to, to the people about, you know, where, where is it, what is it that you want to do, and what are you doing today to make that happen? Mm. Yeah. 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 Well, we thank you so much. Hey, thank you guys. Dan Great. And, uh, if, if people want to find out more about you and your, your organization. Yeah, you they can yeah. check us out, of course, at uh, deganmedia.com for all my different productions. Excellent. Thanks for That's being great. with us, Dan. Nice to see you.